In the previous video, we looked at the distinction between developed and developing countries. In an attempt to more clearly classify groups of countries to more effectively cater for their needs, the World Health Organization divided developed and developing countries further into five mortality strata based, as the name suggests, on mortality rates. These strata distinguish between adult mortality rates and child mortality rates. For the sake of this data, an adult is a male between 15 and 59, and a child is anyone under five years old. The mortality strata are labelled from stratum A through to stratum E. It is generally accepted that countries in stratum A are developed, while as countries in strata D and E are developing. Strata B and C are less clearly defined. Still, each mortality stratum has typical mortality characteristics. These are stratum A, very low child mortality, very low adult mortality, stratum B, low child mortality, low adult mortality, stratum C, low child mortality, high adult mortality, stratum D, high child mortality, high adult mortality, stratum E, high child mortality, very high adult mortality. A question on the mortality strata may look something like this one from the 2010 VCA exam. As you can see, the question has two parts. First, you need to identify the mortality stratum to which Ethiopia belongs based on the given information. Then, you need to justify that choice, again, based on the given information. The question is worth three marks in total, so one mark for the identification and two marks for the justification. Before we continue, have a go at answering the question. Here, I'll even give you five seconds to pause the video. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, hopefully you've now had a crack at answering the question. If not, well, that's okay too. Here is how you may go about it. Firstly, we need to identify the correct stratum. Remember that stratum A has the lowest mortality rates and stratum E has the highest. So we could simply say stratum E. But then comes the trickier part. We have to justify our response. In a response like this, we definitely need to use some of the given data. So we could say something like, Ethiopia has a very high under five mortality rate, 210 per thousand live births, which suggests that child mortality would be classified as very high. Further, the very low life expectancy of 55 years suggests that adult mortality rates are also very high. Subsequently, Ethiopia appears most likely to belong to stratum E. Note that stratum D could also be justified here, so long as you can back up your contention with the provided data. Bye for now and happy studying.